Uh, hey there, it's Elizabeth and Josh from TFAW.com. Uh, we are here doing a special segment for Indie Comic Book Week. I'm not sure if any of you know, but Diamond Comic Distributors is not sending any new comics to shops on Wednesday. So a bunch of Indie Comic Book creators got together and organized an Indie Comic Book Week. And as part of that, we have been asking independent creators to submit their work to us. And as a result, we have a whole slew of awesome indie comics on our site and in our Oregon store. So we just want to give you guys a peek at what we've been reading. Uh, first up, I've got the nearly infamous Zango by Rob Osborne, uh, starring the laziest supervillain alive. <laughs> uh, we've got the first three issues. Uh, Rob has been kind enough to allow us to sell his book in our stores and online and you'll just want to check it out a little bit the taste of the artwork there but we also have first look previews of that one on our site excellent the first one i'm going to talk about is uh, sherlock holmes the painful predicament of alice faulkner uh, particularly timely with the movie coming out but what really struck me about this uh, book is how brett m hurl Holtz art. It looks a lot like Edward Gorey. So if you like that sort of dark Victorian sort of art where they're kind of minimalistic yet ornate, black and white, uh, this is the book for you. Uh, next I've got uh, Robot 13. We've got two issues up on the site um, by Thomas Hall and Daniel Bradford. If you take a look on the inside, I believe we have first looks for this one we too. Do. You're going to be seeing some pretty familiar stuff if you've opened a Hellboy graphic novel or comic ever. So, uh, uh, story's pretty good. Um, there's minimal dialogue, but uh, uh, very good. Check it out. We've got another series on our site. Uh, it's called Wayfarer's Moon, and it is a fantasy series uh, based on the creator's early uh, gaming adventures, actually. This is uh, Lee Kellogg and, uh, pardon me, uh, Jason Janicki and we've got the first five issues on our site and it's it's really impressive especially for an indie creator you know this is a, a fully realized universe that they have created and it's got two main female adventurers who are out on a quest and magical beings and mages and and fighting and axes and all of this. You can get all five issues. They have told us that there is a six issue planned and then a trade. But um, I first got a look at these people at uh, Stumptown here in Portland and uh, they are located in Redmond, Washington. Um, I'm going to go pretty quick. The next thing about uh, Adam Rec. Uh, one volume here. I believe it's uh, on sale for uh, 9.99, something like that. Uh, it retails for that, and it's set in space. Um, just amazing uh, coloring going on, minimalistic kind of style, but uh, very good. And kid friendly. Yeah. Definitely. And this is not kid friendly. This has been the most popular indie comic book, uh, of our submissions on our site. It is Zombie Tramp by Jason Martin. He first introduced it at San Diego uh, Comic Convention and it sold out and we it has been repeatedly selling out on our site. It is about a high priced uh, call girl who ends up being infected by zombies. Um, it kind of reminds me of Frankenhooker. It's definitely got a sense of humor about about the uh, the situation. I really like the way they use a real minimal use of color here. But uh, it takes like comic book people's two favorite things, zombies and sexy ladies, and puts them together. So it seems like a real winner to me. Uh, finally, I've got American Terror. We've got a couple volumes on the site. And uh, I don't know really what to say about it. It looks like it's a uh, futuristic, uh, post-apocalyptic uh, story. And it just, it, I love it. It's good. Nice. And we've got a whole page on our site. Uh, if you go to tfa.com slash comic slash indie, and if you go anywhere on our site, you will find a link to it. But uh, And if you are in the Portland area, uh, tomorrow, uh, December 30th, yeah. we are having an event at our Portland store on 41st and Sandy from 2 to 7 with local comic book creators such as Shannon Wheeler, Paul Guinan, uh, Jason Martin from Zombie Tramp, and many others. So come in and join us. All right. Yay! Go Lady Comics! Yeah! Bye!